today on Destination Polaris. Headed faster. Calling all mud riders. We're headed to Mississippi. Destination Polaris starts right now. Destination Polaris is presented by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Welcome to Destination Polaris. We are in Mississippi, and that can only mean one thing, Mississippi mud. Our ride takes place just an hour southeast of Jackson in the small town of Mount Olive. Mississippi has quite a few off-road parks scattered around the state. But we chose to spend our weekend at Burdens Creek ATV Park. We got 595 acres. Um, I got Tell everybody just about anything you want to ride in. Michael Mapp owns the park. He keeps it open every day of the week. I'm kind of centrally located in the state, and I'm, that, it's kind of easier for people to get it's closer to come here than it is to go everywhere else, pretty much, you know. And if you want to ride in water, I got deep water. If you want if you want to right hit big just my mud, mud hole, I got place in them, I got some pretty pretty bad holes. The creek over there, I got crossings all in it and go on the other side over there and the railroad track runs parallel with the highway there. We're gonna tackle as much of the park as we can, but we couldn't do it without this crew. We were really muddy last week, got them home, got them cleaned up and, and get ready to get muddy again. That's what we do. We've got over a dozen people with us from Texas. Now get this, it's the first time at this park for the entire group. Basically just trying somewhere completely different that we knew nothing about. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Just different terrain, different area. We brought a lot of good friends, a lot of fun bikes. We bought a pretty good variety of units from a, you know, a Razor to a Pro-R to uh, some Generals, Rangers. Just a, a good selection and we wanted to test them all out and see how they do. Something new to try. All right then, load up and head out. Leave the parking lot and you can pretty much go any direction. We chose to head under the railroad crossing and picked a few smaller mud holes to get warmed up. Play in the mud. <laughs> it's been going well so far. It's definitely different than the than the Texas stuff. It's a little darker, a little nastier. Ooh, a little bit of mud. <laughs> I can go get more mud if you want, you know. If you all ain't dirty enough. We're going to change that in a hurry. 
Those that want to get dirty, follow me. Those that don't want to get dirty, follow uh, Teresa. No. <laughs> we gotta change this. Look how clean Grace is. I know. All right, Grace, your turn. When we come back, farmer Grace takes her turn behind the wheel. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Rugged Radios, the authority in communications. Rockford Fosgate, purpose-built audio. Waltons, everything but the meat. And by Casey's, here for good. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. Jackson, Mississippi is the largest city in the state. Bump around and you'll discover places to eat and things to do. Off-roaders come to Mississippi for another reason. Mud. Travel south from Jackson, down Highway 49 to the town of Mount Olive, and look for Burdens Creek ATV Park. If you miss the sign, just keep an eye out for Maps Fruit Stand. Mouth fruit stand. Uh, we've been in, a, been, been in 74 years. Now I'm, four, I'm fourth generation of my family running. Uh, you're standing in some of the best watermelon ground in the country. About six, eight miles through them woods, Smith County, Mississippi. Michael runs the ATV park, but moonlights as a cook. Everybody says I cook the best crawfish around, so as many people come to the back door by them as I do the front door. We plan to hold our own barbecue at the end of the day, but for now, we've got writing to do. Most of our group is from Texas with one Kentucky import. I am known as Farmer Grace. I got that nickname in high school, actually. Farmer Grace is a social media influencer. Listen up, because I have something super exciting planned. First, get a job. <laughs> Top three cheeses. Colby Jack. Colby Jack. What has recently gone kind of viral is the trucking videos that I've been posting of just hauling corn to the elevator. I ran a combine for the first time when I was nine, and that's when I decided, like, right then and there, wow, I was going to farm. Grace and her dad raise corn and soybean on their eighth-generation farm in Lewiston, Kentucky. Our farm has been there for over 200 years now. The family farm has always been in that area. Yeah, so it started in 1813. Abraham Lincoln actually ran his ferry business on our farm. What? And yeah. She drives a tractor most days, so this is something different. I didn't expect to drive any of them at all. I just figured we were gonna come here and like just ride around with everybody. Oh no, Grace. We're gonna need you behind the wheel. What are you about to do? I'm about, I guess I'm gonna hit a big mud hole. How are you feeling about that? I'm nervous. <laughs> She's driving. I'm a good driver. So close. <laughs> this is what I'm good at. 
pulling winch ropes in the mud. <laughs> I've had my fair share of this time, so, you know, I've been the one stuck before, so it's fun to get other people to get stuck sometimes. Let's get you out and give her another run. Hit it faster. Come on, you got it. Come on, come on. So close. <laughs> there we go, man. She's so close to getting out. Got you almost had it. I was so close. <laughs> Dang it. But it was a lot of fun, and I was really excited that I got to get behind the wheel. It's always fun when you find a spot that it's like, yeah, let's see if we can go through. And when somebody wants to go through, we all know we got winches to get out. But I didn't hit it fast enough, so I got stuck like right in the middle of it. And then I tried again, and I got. I was so close, I almost got out of it, but I didn't. She did great. Yeah, first time, she almost made it. Second time, trailing arms caught some butter. Nothing she, she can do about that. Mike's just not tall enough. I was upset just because I really wanted to get through it. You need a real tall vehicle to get through there. We just don't have the height. I've got equipment in the bed of mine. I can't. I'll take it out. Right? <laughs> Come on, Come on Grant. Grant. You do it. You're a chicken if you don't. So if you don't make it, it is what it is. If we do make it, it just makes it even more fun. All right, still to come, we're gonna introduce you to the people that built this machine. You look at it first and people are like, man, that's a razor. And then once they start looking at the whole machine, they realize it's not. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Polaris Adventures. Adventure everywhere. Aluma Trailers, ready to ride when you are. Flowfast, the ultimate portable fluid transfer system. And by Amsoil, run with us. Welcome back to Destination Polaris. We're at Burdens Creek ATV Park in Mount Olive, Mississippi. By now, you may have recognized some of our Texas friends. We are Resurrection Industries. We do uh, customization of side-by-side. Uh, -side. We do everything from uh, general maintenance to full builds, you know, lifts, tires, wheels, custom audio, conversions, I mean, portals, you name it, we do it. Nice. <laughs> Resurrection Industries has done a number of custom Project X builds for us over the years. And of course, they brought their latest machine, Static. Static. <laughs> yeah, we brought that one out. We built that one and, and it's just, we love that bike doesn't let us down, it goes everywhere we want it to go and does anything we need it to do. Matt's son Nick will drive static today and be our unofficial group leader. It's pretty common. I'm normally pretty good at picking decent trails. So how do you go about picking decent lines to make sure you don't get stuck. This one's gonna be a little gnarly on that roadway. Yeah, 
So I started stepping in there and slide it down. Well, when you can't see the bottom, you know it's pretty deep. Getting stuck's a part of it, but we try to keep it from happening. So of course, there are more scientific approaches. What should we do? Should we have him stay to the left? Yeah. Right? Hey, 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 hey here he comes. Yeah, stay to the left. Nope. <laughs> that was the end. And if that doesn't work, hey, Bobby, what's that you got there? Redneck measure stick. <laughs> How about we just let static go first? We're golden. <laughs> It was a Polaris Ranger. You look at it first and people are like, man, that's a Razor. And then once they start looking at the whole machine, they realize it's not. I love the way it's set up, the look of it. It's not too big. It's still, I mean, any trails that we want to go on, I feel like I can go anywhere I want. We let them go first and then that'll tell us uh, whether that's a doable way or whether we need to find another avenue. I think it's time for lunch, and these Texas folks don't go anywhere without a full spread. Gourmet trail food right here. <laughs> 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 Tortillas, yep. Some fixing. We moved to Texas, and everybody says, where's the bike? And we're looking for dirt bikes. Like, when I first started coming around, like, years ago, I was like, what do you, what? What do you mean a bike? I'm like, you freaking weirdos. OK. And now I say it, and everyone looks at me like I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We spare no expense right on destination players. <laughs> Grab a bite and settle in because we're not done just yet. For a mud park, it's set up perfect. David wants to get dirty. You're watching Destination Polaris. Destination Polaris is sponsored by Brave and Off-Road, Live Brave. Rotocap, the ultimate UTV bed cover. Fly Racing, helmets and apparel by riders for riders. And by Canvas Works, custom, durable, soft-sided enclosures for any trailer. Welcome back to DP. We're in Mississippi at Burdens Creek ATV Park. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, for a mud park and that, you got it's set up perfect. I like it. It's nice. From what I see, it's in great shape. We got to get around to a lot of different areas. I liked all the water crossings that we ran into, so that train is, it was a lot of fun. You got some clean water spots where you can go out and clean stuff up. You got a lot of trails you can just cruise around. Most of the spots we hit, there's ways around, so if you got stock guys running with you and that, everyone can kind of go the same route. These two girls didn't want to take the easy path. She got 98% through it, and right as we got to that stopping point, huge wave of water came right back up and crashed down on us. Head to toe soaks, mud in my hair. Got a nice chunk of water in my mouth. Absolutely delicious. Love it. <laughs> and how does that taste? Not good. <laughs> I've been, I've had my fair share of those times, so, you know, I've been the one stuck before, so it's fun to get other people to get stuck sometimes. There's a nice little cool off, not too bad. <laughs> nice little splash. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm never going to complain if it's too cold, too hot. If I'm wet or dry, what? Like, I'm outside, I'm getting to enjoy doing something that most people don't ever get to do in their lives.
rinse off that mud because it's time for a little barbecue. Right now we are actually setting up camp and we're getting ready to cook some fajitas. We got all of our camp chef stuff set up. And we are ready to just start grilling. This one's hickory smoked. Ooh. Rice, fajitas. <laughs> yeah, you caught me eating. Yeah, definitely <laughs> back to work. Tortillas. Go big or go home. <laughs> oh yeah, gonna be some good food tonight. I'm gonna have to taste what y'all are doing over here. It's time to eat. Yep, time it's to time eat. to eat. Come on y'all, come and eat. Heck right. yeah, we ready. No pores, y'all. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Temperature was perfect, didn't get any rain, sun stayed nice and clear, no clouds, so we were definitely fortunate there. It's definitely a good park. That is, it's one of your first times going out or going out with a new group. It'd be a very good, like, learning curve, kind of see where you are, what your machine's capable of, and what you're capable of. And then kind of test the water from there. Love it, we've definitely come back. <laughs>